Hello world, Richard Hackworth here with Motivational Monday. And uh, as we head into the new year, I wanted to give everyone a reminder that uh, as a lifestyle entrepreneur and a life success coach, I can tell you that the biggest obstacle people face is self-discipline. So if you'll really exercise your self-discipline, you will accomplish a lot. And just as equally important as self-discipline is to your success as a martial arts instructor and school owner, walking your talk is just as important. And uh, let me tell you something. Your students notice everything that you do. And there are a lot of areas that we can cover in this, from drinking to smoking or even using illegal drugs and uh, even steroids uh, have become a problem in the martial arts community. And to me, if you're injecting yourself with uh, illegal steroids, that sounds like a personal confession that you know that your technique isn't that good. So you're going to rely on brute strength to try to win any altercation. And uh, that's just not good, man. And I'm not trying to bash your ego. I know it's a vanity drug and that uh, muscles for men is for, you know, what beauty is for women. So I, I get that, you know. But at the same time, I'm really concerned about you guys because the damage that it's doing to your internal organs is much worse than what you might imagine. Yeah, you might look like a world-class athlete on the outside, but on the inside, you got the guts of an 80-year-old. So uh, keep that in mind, guys. Let's, uh, let's live clean because walking your talk and leading by example is one of the major things that will skyrocket your success because people want to follow somebody that's good at what they do, that's good at uh, motivating, inspiring, educating, entertaining their students. And you got to be all that. And um, even... Uh, uh, being overweight. I know this time of year, everybody's looking to lose weight and whatever. And um, so I know some people say, well, I had an injury. And I used that excuse for a while. But then you know what? I kind of shook it off. And uh, a good example of this is, uh, well, first of all, I lost 260 pounds. After my injury, I ballooned up to 413 pounds at my peak. And uh, I was just a walking heart attack waiting to happen. And uh, once I started losing the weight and getting back into doing my martial arts practice daily and faithfully, it, uh, it made a world of difference. And believe me, your martial art will not fail you if you don't fail your martial art. Daily practice is going to be a big part of your success coming into the new year and beyond. So uh, let's step up. Let's be a better example to our students. And um, for those of you that uh, struggle with the weight, and especially if you're giving yourself the excuse of that you had an injury, I did that myself. I made that same mistake. And it's a crutch. It's an emotional crutch. And the truth is you can do it, even with the injury. If your activity level is low, then you have to better manage what you stick in your mouth to keep your caloric intake below uh, what you're expending. And uh, one of the guys uh, that really inspired me for this is Justin Harvey. And uh, I remember talking to him about struggling with my weight. I said, man, I know you, you don't do a lot of physical activity because you're bound to a wheelchair, but you still practice martial arts. You still move around even in your chair to punch a heavy bag and do different stuff. How do you keep your weight under control with such limited activity? And what he said came to me like a brick in the face because it was so obvious that we easily ignore it. He said, I just watch what I eat. I exercise my self-control because I know if I didn't manage my diet, that I would lose that battle, that I would be struggling. And, you know, being in a wheelchair is one thing, but adding a weight problem to it is another. And uh, I really admire Justin for having that kind of self-discipline, man. I mean, I love the guy. He's an example for all of us. So uh, just keep that in mind when you, when you feel an excuse creeping up on you. 
push it aside, find a way. I want to see a happier, healthier, wealthier you in the coming year. And uh, if you would, do me a solid and uh, leave me a comment below. Um, go to the link in the description, join the page, get the free stuff that we're advertising there, um, or giving away there rather. And if you need consistent help on a regular basis, because it's hard for one person to do it all, and you want somebody to help you with your social media, your website, all of those things, your, your marketing, um, I'm here for you. Reach out to me and we can work something out because I want to see everyone, every good instructor, succeed in the new year. So that's all the love I got for you today. Remember, walk your talk and lead by example. All right, that's all I got for you. And remember, go to the link in the description. And I'll look forward to seeing you again next Monday. Thanks, guys. I love you.